Hi guys, in this video we'll be asking what is electrolysis before thinking about how electrolysis works and finishing off with a summary. So firstly, what is electrolysis? Electrolysis is a process that is used in order to extract metals from their metal ores. On the left hand side of this diagram we have a metal ore. We obtain metal ores through mining and they contain minerals which are made up of useful metals. In order to obtain these useful metals, shown on the right hand side here, we can use the process of electrolysis. Above this arrow we have a diagram showing the setup for an electrolysis experiment that we'll go into a lot more detail about during the rest of the video. In the process of electrolysis, an electric current is passed through an ionic compound that's either molten or in solution. For example, metal ores often contain the ionic compound metal oxides. The important point about an ionic compound that's either molten or in solution is that their ions can move. A compound that's molten is just one that's been melted, as shown on this left hand side diagram. And a compound that's in solution is just one that's been dissolved in water. In the electrolysis process, the ions in the liquid or solution separate from each other and which causes the ionic substance to decompose. As an example, the electrolysis of molten or melted magnesium oxide will break it down in order to form magnesium and oxygen. Magnesium oxide is an ionic compound made up of a metal and a non-metal which has the chemical symbol MgO. The electrolysis process can be used in order to break down magnesium oxide forming magnesium metal and oxygen which will as always will be formed as a diatomic molecule. We just need to balance this equation by adding a 2 in front of magnesium oxide and a 2 in front of magnesium. The magnesium oxide in the electrolysis process is molten which means that it is a liquid. This molten magnesium oxide is broken down into solid, magnesium and oxygen gas. The electrolysis setup involves two key components what is known as an electrolyte and two electrodes. The electrolyte in the electrolysis experiment is the ionic compound that is in its liquid state or in solution. As we mentioned on the previous slide, an ionic compound that is a liquid or in solution will contain mobile ions. The presence of ions that can move around enables these substances to conduct electricity. This diagram shows the setup of an electrolysis experiment and the liquid in the beaker is the electrolyte, which you can see contains positive and negative ions. The electrolysis process also involves two electrodes, which are shown here and here. An electrode is a solid rod which is made out of either metal or graphite. Metal and graphite will both conduct electricity, which is why they're chosen, because the electrode needs to conduct electricity to the electrolyte. During the electrolysis process, electricity is passed through the electrolyte. The result is that the electrolytes gain charge. One becomes positively charged and one becomes negatively charged. A potential difference is set up between the two electrodes allowing current to flow through the electrolyte. As we said before, the electrolyte will contain positive ions, known as cations, and negative ions, known as anions. We therefore have charged electrodes and charged ions. And it's this attraction that leads the ionic compound present within the electrolyte to break down during the electrolysis process. The positively charged ions, which are the cations, are attracted to the negatively charged electrode. We call at the electrode which positively charged cations are attracted to the cathode. So in our overall diagram, we can label our negatively charged electrode as the cathode. This electrode will have a negative charge because of an excess of electrons. Therefore, when these positively charged ions are attracted towards the negatively charged electrode, they are able to gain electrons from the electrode in order to form atoms or molecules. Similarly, the negative ions within the electrolyte will be attracted to the positively charged electrode. And we call the electrode that negatively charged anions are attracted to the anode. The anode will have a positive charge due to a lack of electrons. 
the negatively charged ions that are attracted towards the anode will give up electrons in order to form atoms or molecules. Therefore, at the cathode, positively charged cations will gain electrons and at the anode, negatively charged anions will lose electrons. There is an overall flow of electrons and current travels through the circuit made up of electrolyte and electrodes. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you are looking for an amazing GCSE chemistry resource, join me today in my series of engaging bite-sized video tutorials. Just click the Stat Revised smiley face and together let's make GCSE chemistry a walk in the park.